President Paul Kagame on Friday received credentials from nine dip new uh, diplomatic envoys accredited to Rwanda at Village Rugido in Kigali. The envoys included Kevin Colgan, Ireland's ambassador to Rwanda, Katrina Zufa Lalandova, Slovak Republic's ambassador to Rwanda, Andriel Pradendink, Ukraine's ambassador to Rwanda, now Canada's ambassador to Rwanda, Christoph Tonley, Isatu Amina Bundu, Israel's uh, Sida Rion's ambassador to Rwanda, Jasper Singh, ambassador of Singapore in Rwanda, Michelle Ian Upton, New Zealand's ambassador to Rwanda, Abdi Muhammad Ayyub, Djibouti's ambassador to Rwanda, and Monica de Griff Lindo, Colombia's ambassador to Rwanda. Now, while addressing the media shortly after presenting their credentials to President Kagame, the new envoys reiterated their commitments to further strengthen their respective countries' cooperation with Rwanda. Uh, we had a, a brief meeting. His Excellency was very gracious, uh, spent a, a bit of time with us. We discussed Canada-Rwanda relations. Uh, we looked forward to the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. Um, I uh, complimented uh, His Excellency on Rwanda's very impressive management um, of the pandemic and clearly their um, uh, entry into uh, the next phase outside of the pandemic and on all of the many successes that Rwanda has achieved in, in a number of years. And I look forward to uh, representing Canada and Rwanda and building our already strong relationship and looking forward to a bright future. Singapore highly values uh, our relationship with Rwanda uh, as a partner and as a friend. And we intend to build on that good relationship we have to, to further our cooperation in various areas of interest to Rwanda, like in cybersecurity, di digital processing, digital services, fintech, uh, agro-processing and so on. My priorities are to develop economic, trade, cultural links with, with Rwanda over the next three or four years that, that I'm ambassador. Uh, it's important that countries benefit equally from one another's trade and, 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 and investments in, 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 in each other. Uh, we have a, an, an economic forum in, in Ireland that we will hope Rwanda will participate in uh, towards the end of June and that some uh, Rwandan business people will come to, to uh, Dublin and, and tell the story of Rwanda. I transmitted uh, to His Excellency President uh, Paul Kagame the warm greetings uh, and uh, wishes for uh, good health, uh, well-being and prosperity uh, from his uh, counterpart and brother, His Excellency President Smail Omar Gilly of the Republic of Djibouti. Uh, as you know, uh, Djibouti and Rwanda are sharing uh, excellent bilateral relations which can be qualified by friendship and familial bilateral uh, relations. We have uh, several uh, bilateral agreements. Some of them have been already implemented. And now it is to me to work hard with my uh, colleague, uh, Ambassador Hope, Ambassador of Rwanda in Ethiopia and Djibouti, to resume the bilateral uh, meetings, as I hope uh, the, we are at the end of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, in order to strengthen and deepen our bilateral uh, relations and uh, to reach a new height.